Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. I wish to speak with you about the pace of your life. Over time, on this plane, people develop ideas about who they are based on the feedback they got from their own experience and from what other t- others tell them. And over time, they come to gather evidence to support that theory that they have about themselves or about life or about other people. Until after a while, the mind organizes around these theories and stories. And you live by the story that you tell. This one has always been told and has always believed that he is impulsive. He's heard this since he was very young. Before terms like ADD and ADHD were invented. The feedback he got was, Talks too much, fidgets. Some of his teachers in elementary school insisted that he sit on his hands to stop bothering people. He was easily distracted. And over time, He came to believe that that's just how he was and dealt with the consequences of those type of behaviors. Maybe there's a part of your personality that you believe is just what you were born with and what you have to make peace with. What I want you to consider is that there is a perfect pace for you. It may not coincide with the pace for other people, but it is the perfect pace for you. But what it requires is that you release your ideas about yourself, about the way you are, Judgments, whether that is good or bad. And be open to be shown what is the most ideal way for you to be in the moment. Meditation and mindfulness will benefit you greatly. Allowing your thoughts to come and go and not be so quick to react to what you think requires practice. Perhaps your thoughts come by in a torrent or perhaps your thoughts come by very slowly. It doesn't matter. Be open to be shown the perfect pace for you. It requires that you listen without judgment to what the Holy Spirit is telling you. And that may change from moment to moment. The ego will want to make a concept out of it. 
always do this, always be this way. But to really be responsive, you have to listen to something inside of you. You have to respond and not react. And that requires that you release the ideas you have about yourself. You may be capable of much more than you think is possible based on your personality and your predilections and your history. What I'm saying is just be curious to find, is there some other way of being than you've been all of your life? That has more love, more acceptance, and more grace than what you've been able to come up with. Telling yourself to slow down or telling yourself to speed up doesn't usually work. But accepting each moment and asking for guidance does. There's a time to react quickly and there's time to react slowly. And there's a time not to react at all. Let yourself be open, no matter where you are in your life, to something new about yourself, something you didn't think you were capable of. And surrender to that. Find out how that feels, even if it's unfamiliar. Most of what you're telling yourself isn't true. You are much more loving, much more capable, much more caring, much more forgiving, much wiser than you might ever imagine. Be open to finding out the truth about yourself way beyond your story and see where that takes you. See if that doesn't bring you home. I'm with you every step of the way. I love you very much. And I'll speak with you again soon.